Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Shell Nuts. In this particular episode, we're going to talk about how to put some of your shells on display so you can enjoy them a little more, or put together little collections to give away to your friends and family. We'll talk about where we're finding some of our glass vases and, and frames, and then we're also going to get into actually creating one for ourselves during the video so you can kind of see how one comes together. So please sit back, relax, and enjoy, and uh, thanks for tuning in. We do appreciate it. All right, so the very first thing we're gonna talk about is some of the shell collections that we put together. Um, different ways of doing it. Um, and one of the ways that we enjoy is, is putting together these picture frames. And uh, usually the, the, the smaller shells work better for the picture frames. They gotta buy the, the, the frames, they're, they're like box frames that have a little depth to them. And uh, it's, it's kind of actually tricky because you gotta build them so that they don't fall down when you stand up the frame. But we've put together a few of these. And then sometimes we buy little glass jars to, to put together for certain, certain types of collections or we'll do multiple collections in this jar. We just putting little baby horse conks and Florida cones that we found. And then moving on to some of the larger collections that we've put together. These are the bigger glass jars that maybe, or uh, glass uh, bowls, excuse me, that, uh, that we put like on our dining room tables or coffee tables or in, in console tables and uh, it's fun to try to find shells that have a lot of different color variety. It, it, they tend to pop a little bit better, the collections, if you can find you know, different, different, uh, different colors. And, uh, and then some of the larger shells that we found, we just went to our local shell store and we find the little, the little stands for them. And then we place these you know, on, the, on, the, on the shelves around our house and, uh, uh, or on little tables and things. And they add a nice little pop to it. And then there's, you can get, you can do whatever you want. You know, you really can. You can, you can find different, you know, uh, vases and shapes and you can do like, we just did a collection of cones here. We had a, a really great day uh, uh, finding uh, alphabet cones on, on Kais Island. And uh, so we decided to celebrate that day by putting together a, a, a collection of just the cones. Um, so yeah, we get all these from uh, home goods or uh, uh, Hobby Lobby uh, is another great place to find them. Uh, maybe even the container store, but but mostly, uh, yeah, this is how we uh, we uh, show off our collections on display in our home. So uh, hopefully, yeah, this gives you some ideas. A couple other things that we've put together for our friends and family is we buy these little these little jars from these came from Hobby Lobby. They're like. I don't know, they're like 13 or 14 bucks. They're all about the same price. And they just kind of have a nautical feel to them with a little bit of the rope and just the way they're designed. And um, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to walk through, you know, just how I put together one of these by uh, putting putting out some of the different shells that I want to put in there. And I think we'll fill up one of these in this episode. And uh, so you can kind of see how we do that. Okay. Couple other quick little ideas that I forgot about is we have given some uh, jewelry boxes or display cases with shells inside of them to some of our friends. We're starting another one uh, right here, and then also sometimes we like to give people little uh, collections uh, of of certain types of shells. So this is a cute little collection of a variety of colors of the fighting conks um, that we put together, and we'll give these to give these to folks as well. So just a couple other quick ideas here that I wanted to mention. Okay, so let's talk about how to put together a, a shell collection or display. We've got a little glass jar here that we bought from Hobby Lobby. They come in different sizes. Uh, let me show you a video quickly of a, a little bit shorter one that I put together recently for uh, some friends for Christmas. Um, we collect a lot more shells than we need because we create these collections all the time and we give them away to friends and family. We sent uh, my wife's parents home with just tons of shells to give to all of her friends so um, 
nowadays we we've given so many collections away we don't have much to give away anymore so we really don't collect as many shells as we used to we only look kind of for the prized ones but when we do collect our shells um we go through a, a process of you know picking the best ones mm -hmm. and then we'll go ahead and clean them and we'll also if some of them are oxidized um we'll dip them in a muriatic acid or if they've got some green or algae and stuff growing on them, we'll dip them in bleach. Um, we'll have a separate, actually a separate session uh, for explaining how to clean and prep your shells. But once we've got them kind of cleaned and prepped, we, we store them. We try to categorize them in, in terms of quality or maybe the types. And, um, and then we'll just sit down and make a collection. So let's talk about how to do that. So the very first thing we want to do is clean this jar because it's kind of hazy and it needs to be wiped off. We'll go ahead and get that cleaned up. And then the tools you'll need to, to build a collection like this is just, you'll just need something like, you know, to put the shells in with a pair of pliers, needle nose pliers, or maybe something to move them around. Um, I will put a little mineral oil on some of them before I put them into the, uh, the case. Just one last coating uh, just to make sure they pop as much as possible. And then I will go ahead and pick out the different shells that I want to put in there. Um, so I, I make sure that I get a lot of variety. And... Uh, a couple tips on uh, when you're out there looking for shells, shells that really will make your collection pop, is you, it's always good to try to find a variety of color. Um, we put together collections when we first got started and they just didn't have much color in them, they were a little dull. So then we started looking for, for example, for fighting conks that were that orangish peach color. Uh, that's a kind of a unique color to uh, sh for, sh for shells and so we now kind of really seek out uh, these types of shells. We also love to find the calico scallops. When you put a little oil on them, they really pop and they give you that, that purple color, which is kind of a nice color. And also look for the little orange ones. The little orange ones can really add a nice pop of color. Um, if you're lucky enough to find a, a lion's paw, that'll add a little bit of red color. Um, but again, uh, you want just kind of a nice variety of color because you'll start to see how the, the oranges and greens or whatever, they really pop. Whereas if you have stuff that's all the same color, it really doesn't jump jump out as much to you. So, um, so yeah, go ahead and find all the shells that you, you know, the variety of shells that you want to put in your jar. And then you're just going to start stacking them. It's really not rocket science. Uh, you will want to have some shells that in the middle, that kind of run down the middle. You probably won't see them. So uh, you don't want to, you know, put some of your best shells down the middle because you're not really going to see them. Um, but these... These fighting conks serve as a great kind of foundation for stacking the rest of the shell. So typically I start off with a fighting conk in the middle and then I just start to stack around that and I create my first layer and uh, I'll go ahead and do that in a second. So let's let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and start this uh, display. Okay, so I went ahead and cleaned glass and now as I mentioned, I'm going to pick out the shells that I, you know, that I want to put in here just so that I know that I have a good assortment. So I'm just going to go through the different collections that we have and try to find, you know, a di different assortment, uh, you know, of each of each type of shell. And so that I make sure that I, you know, I represent all the different, the shell, you know, the different shell types. And I'll pick out different sizes and different colors. And um, yeah, this is kind of fun to think about the collection that you're going to put together. So we, you know, we want some, some definitely some banded tulips and true tulips and, um, uh, let's see, we want, probably want a couple of pear whelks in there. Maybe the more colorful the better. And we definitely want some lightning whelks in there. And, uh, and then we'll pick out some, this is not, you know, our, our medium quality pile, um, where I'll run these down the middle. Um, and they won't really be seen, but they'll, they'll, uh, they'll create like a foundation for, for the shells along, along the outside. So the prettier shells will be seen on, on the outside of the jar. So I'll pick out just a couple that I'll, I'll use to kind of run down the middle. Um, yeah, so let me finish that off and then we'll start stacking. All right, so we've got a, um, our kind of our first layer. And then one thing I want to mention about this is it takes time. It, it, it really does. To, it's almost like Tetris, right? You really want to get things stacked in tightly and not leave too many air gaps. Because if you do, that they could, it could settle later on. It could shift around and things could fall and it could mess up your collection. So you really want to take your time and you know, just enjoy it. But you want to try to fill in gaps as much as you can, these little air gaps, um, so that later on things don't fall and settle and shift. 
So we've got, we're off to a good start. We got our kind of our first level going and got a little variety there. And we're just gonna keep layering it up and up and up. And it probably takes an hour or two to, to do these. It, it, it's not a, it's, it's a, it's a time consuming process, but when it's done, boy, it's really rewarding. So let me keep going and get to, uh, the, and I'll fill it up a little bit more and we'll circle back and take a little more video. All right, so we're kind of at the midway point, um, making good progress. Um, and just, I've had to take stuff back out, put it back in and try again. And it's a it's trial and error process, but I think we're, we're off to a good start and we've only got a few more layers left to go. Uh, and so, yeah, it's turning out good. So let's keep going. Okay, I think we're, we're all done. I think it came out pretty nice. So just probably took 30 to 45 minutes, not quite an hour and a hour and a half. I think we're getting better at it as we've done these quite a few times, but it's gonna roll it around here. You can kind of see what we put together. I think it's got a nice assortment of Southern Florida shells in it. I'm looking back and I'm like, oh, I missed a Murex. I didn't put a Murex in here. So maybe somehow I'll come back and try to squeeze a Apple Murex in here or something. But I think it came out pretty nice and it's, yeah, it's something you guys can, you know, do at home and it's a lot of fun and grab your kids and you can do it together. These, these glass vases are really cheap and then just set it somewhere in the house. And what's really cool is it's something, you know, that shows all the beautiful treasures of nature that nature creates and that you found on your own, which is kind of cool. And it's a lot of great memories. And, um, you know, there's some people that, that don't even, they, they put their, their, shells and boxes and put them in their closet and stuff and it's just terrible it's, it's such a waste because they're so pretty when they're put on display so i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and uh please if you have a chance click subscribe if you haven't already done so and and uh please check out some of our other other episodes thanks for watching